contraction and slider. So I'm going to set up with my front foot in this more elevated position. So it's that co contraction the heels lifted. I can think about spreading my big toes on this foot so I have more contact with that transverse arch, which is that kind of arch from the first to the fifth um, toe, so to speak. So, or big toe to pinky toe. So I'm gonna spread my toes wide. I'm gonna think about elevating the heel, that is that co-contraction position. I can use the foam roller just for a little bit of support if I need it. And as I kind of get into that lunge position, I'm gonna think about inhaling as I extend the leg back and exhale to drive up and stand. Inhale back, exhale, pelvic floor lifts. Ultimately, the pelvic floor, we want the pelvic floor to kind of just do its thing. But beginning with our movements, or if you just want to bring more purposeful intent to it, you can think about that exhale. It's also going to bring those deep abs on board as well. Inhale, exhale, think about spreading the toes wide, keeping the heel elevated. Inhale, exhale, drive up. You can take away the foam roller, or just use it for balance. You can reach forward with that opposite hand. Exhale, come up. You're going to feel all the muscles in the feet, calves, hamstrings, glutes, everything on this working leg. Another couple things to keep in mind as you come back. Don't go too far that you lose and you jump into that anterior tilt. So just go back to that available extension whoo, where you don't feel like you're going to drop forward at the hips and flare the ribs out. Whew, that one's tough. 